It's a story you've heard before, a local business switching its product to help out the community during this coronavirus pandemic. But what happens when the supplies needed start to run out too? Reporter Phil Bergman has more. This is where our mixing area right now. At the Lonely Oak Distillery in Erling, Iowa, Pat Hoffman and his family have switched from producing vodka and bourbon to a different product. This is all the alcohol that we brought in just to make hand sanitizer. As former healthcare workers, Pat and his wife decided that they needed to do something to help out those in the community fighting the virus. We know what it's like uh, to be on the front line and be need supplies and not be able to get them. So this is one small thing that we can do. Over the last two weeks, Pat and his family have made 2,200 gallons of hand sanitizer or more than 35,000 eight milliliter bottles. We're just getting calls from hospitals nursing homes, doctor's offices, trucking companies, you name it. I've gotten calls about providing them hand sanitizer. Lonely Oak so far got 24 barrels of alcohol, but they're soon running out. But the problem is the alcohol distributors are also running out of alcohol, so there's no more to give. Lonely Oak did find out earlier today that they're getting four more barrels, which is enough for 300 gallons of hand sanitizer. It's not like the suppliers have alcohol and they're not selling it. They're running out of alcohol too. The more alcohol we can get, the more hand sanitizer we can produce quicker. When the supplies do run out, Hoffman and his family will start distilling rye whiskey to make hand sanitizer. However, this process is more tedious and time consuming. When we buy it, we can do 300 gallons a day. When we have to distill our own alcohol, it's going to be around 30. Another issue places such as Hoffman's are facing are how to package the hand sanitizer. Small eight milliliter bottles are tough to find, so he had to go bigger. That's why we went with the gallon jugs. That's all we could get. Hoffman says he wouldn't be able to make as much product without his family's help. He plans on producing hand sanitizer for the near future. We're just doing our best to fill the need as long as we can get alcohol, as long as we can produce alcohol, and as long as there's a need for the hand sanitizer, we will continue making it. Reporting in Erling, Iowa, Phil Bergman, 3 News Now. The 270 gallons Hoffman is receiving will be enough to make more than 4,000 eight ounce bottles of hand sanitizer.